Welcome to part one of Why Teach Vocabulary with Jane Diener, the science consultant, and David Evans, the social studies consultant. Today we're going to look at vocabulary instruction, and eventually in the next parts we will look at strategies to help you teach vocabulary. So David, why should we teach vocabulary to elementary, junior, and senior high school students? Well, Jane, that's a very good question. And uh, I think the main reason is that it provides the, the foundation or the building blocks, if you will, to enable the students to get into the higher level thinking, um, to be able to analyze concepts, synthesize, draw conclusions, make inferences, uh, be able to interpret. And we need to provide this foundation um, so that students can get there. You know what, David? I also think it will impact the diploma exam results. You're absolutely right. And uh, I don't know if it's the same for science, but there are a lot of words on the social studies, diploma, and, uh, you know, uh, PATs that trip students up. Words, for example, like perspective, advocate, proponent, critic, um, mitigate. I mean, these are words sometimes that, that trip our students up, uh, make it difficult for them to answer the question. And uh, I think that we need to um, help our students with these words and uh, provide strategies so that they are successful. You know, David, yeah, and you talk about words that, you know, aren't found in the curriculum, but curricular words are also extremely challenging. In science, I found a vocabulary list that is for Science 10, and looking at the a number of words and... Wait till you see the social studies list, Gene. Way harder. These are way harder. I mean, have you, do you even know what methyl orange is? Well, um... Can't say I do, actually. <laughs> no, it's an it's, orange that, um, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't drink <laughs> I it. I see your point. Yes, it's very yeah. difficult. And, and if you come from another background, another culture, another language, not being able to understand any of the words is a huge problem. Absolutely. Here's a video clip that will help you understand that, you know, coming from another language could, you know, have ramifications on just understanding on your and learning. communicating. Yeah. Sorry, there's the das beginning. Das hier ist mein Sektor. Das hier ist das wichtigste Gerät, das wir wissen. Das ist das Überlebensradar. That really speaks to a problem, doesn't it, David? Oh, it does. I think it says it all right there. Yeah. Well, the next webcasts we give you will illustrate the process of building vocabulary in your classroom. And we have six steps. Where are these six steps from, David? Uh, these are from uh, Robert Marzano, who's a leading uh, researcher, um, educator, if you will, in the area of vocabulary development. And uh, what we intend to do is to go through these, these steps and provide um, practical, hands-on strategies that... Um, that you'll be able to use in your classrooms to ensure that uh, students are successful in vocabulary. So and develop you. the vocabulary yeah. to, um, to get into the higher level concepts. Thank you, David, for sharing this with us. And please tune in to our next webcast, which will start with uh, the first um, practical application.